Hey guys, big day here, and I got some stuff recently, games was. Um, first I got a couple manuals. Super Metroid, it's pretty worn. I just stick it on it, but I have the box over there, a minty box, and I wanted the manual for it. Next, I got the Yoshi's Cookie manual for 64. It's minty, fresh. And this little card thing that goes with the moving car. A Star Fox 64 manual in pretty minty condition. Which is probably better than all any of my other ones. Got a Rampage World Tour manual. Pretty minty also. One a Glover 64 manual also with this card thing. Um these are just pickups from the last week. Like this bag of manuals here, plus all these boxes for the 64 and Super Nintendo, right here, came from the same person, I bought them online, I got them off for 60 shift. Um, a lot of these boxes are minty though, a couple of them have some minor flaws. They all have the cardboard inserts and some have manuals. We have Turok 2 for 64. Sounds like the manual might be in there too or something. Uh, they just have the, the extra little paperwork that came with them in each one. So Turok 2, I have the player's choice one also over there. So they have both now. Castlevania for 64 has the manual too. The only bad thing is the UPC is cut out in the box. I'm gonna get box protectors for these. This box would be mint if it wasn't for that fucking cup. Um, Jet Force Gemini. Very nice box. I don't have the manual for this yet. World Driver Championship. Mint box resealed by Blockbuster. Hasn't been opened ever since. So in like eight years, it's stayed minty. I'm not gonna open it either. But it does have that blockbuster sticker. So pretty cool. Hybrid Heaven, the '64 box and manual inside with all the extra little card things. This one also has the UPC cut out. Castlevania and this one were the only two who did. Besides that, they're minty and they were like two bucks each, so I couldn't pass it up. Top Gear Rally. This one has the manual inside. It's worn, it was a rental box. And it's got a sticker on the back from Blockbuster. Quake 2 box and manual. Both in very good shape. A little worn right here on the edge, but I'd still say very good condition, if not higher. A little crease, but hard to find these nowadays, especially for cheap. It's a Fighter's Destiny box. It's mint. It even feels mint. Pretty awesome. I gotta get a box protector for this for sure. Um, Diddy Kong Racing box with the inserts, minty. I have a manual, minty manual already, somewhere in my room here. Um, I'll put it in there when I find it. Then for the Super Nintendo, I also got three boxes. First, Act Razor. And all three of these boxes are very nice. They, they're mostly meant for the most part. I'm gonna go pick up this game at the gaming store. It's 10 bucks. Just to make this a complete copy. 
Super Castlevania 4. The only thing wrong with it, there's a stain over here. Looks like coffee or something. You can't really see it in the video. This minty box and manual was like probably 30 bucks. And then Super Bomberman 2. This is also minty. It has a little sticker residue on the back somewhere. Oh, up here, I can get that off. So, I have the manual and the game for the first Super Bomberman, and then we have the box and manual for the second. And all three of those have manuals too. The manuals are a little more worn than the boxes, though, sadly. Next, I got some 64 games Legend of Zelda. Majora's Mask. I got another one. I actually paid like 10 bucks shipped for it. 11. I got two games for 13 shipped. It was in the other video. I think I showed you, but brought this one into the gaming. The other one into the gaming store and got the the collector's edition with this thing on it. You just let me switch them. I cleaned it and they both work. So. Pokemon Puzzle League, I already had this also. Um, my other one, the label is really old and nasty looking, so that one's up for sale or trade. And this was three bucks. And then Busta Move 2 Arcade Edition, I got it for three bucks too, which is cheap, because it's like an eight dollar game. Happy when I found that, I'm like, I'll take it right away. And then. I got a few other things. I bought the last Hey You Pikachu. It was at the gaming store. It was a buck. Worth it because I can make five bucks off of those. Sonic Spinball for the Genesis. Cart only. Nice and glossy looking. Got these two Jet Moto 2. Greatest Hits Complete. And the disc only is SpongeBob SquarePants for. 50 cents a piece, so they were both for a buck. Wario Land 3. I think, yeah, 3 for the Game Boy Color. The Sims Busting Out and the Herb Sims in the City. Game Boy Advance, both complete in box and pretty awesome shape. These, uh, Two complete in box plus Morio and 15 Atari 2600 games, but I mixed them in. This, most of them were duplicates, so I got those. All the Atari, 15 Atari games, and these three here for 15 bucks, which is worth it. These games alone, these two are like. Five bucks each. Double that, if not more, for the box and manual. Plus, this is like four or five bucks for Warrior. So. And I know on the Atari games, Dig Dug was one of them, which is like a seven dollar game, too. They were 15, 50 cents a piece, because nobody buys them usually anymore. So, those were my pickups for. I don't know what day it was. Like 6, 14, or 15, 2011. I'll have more next week when I go and buy more games. Thanks for watching. And I got my name film museum down there. I'm replacing Pac Man again. I love that game. Thanks for watching. Comment, rate, subscribe. Thumbs up. Stop thumbing down my videos. Whoever the fuck you are, I'll delete you from my thread. Somebody's thumbing down every one of my videos and it's pissing me off so if you don't like my videos just don't fucking watch alright bye